that uh, there are three carbon atoms, so I can write C3. Uh, then I have some amount of hydrogens, which I can say HX, HX, and I have some amount of oxygen, so I can say OY. So now, uh, I know that there are three carbon atoms, so the total mass just because of the carbon atoms will be 12 into 3, which is 36. So I have 36 atomic mass units just by the carbon atoms. And the, the molecular mass is 90. So the mass, uh, I, the, the mass I have be, uh, only because of H and O will be 90 minus 36 because I'm subtracting the mass of all the carbon which will give me the mass which is contributed by the oxygen and the hydrogens. So uh, 90 minus 36, which is 54. This is 54. And that means that to in total, we have uh, 54 atomic mass units just by the hydrogens and the oxygen. Uh, and the oxygens maybe because we might have more than one oxygen. So let's just put one oxygen over here let's just so like and write three over here because i know there are three carbon atoms uh let's just subtract one oxygen from this which gives us 38 so if i say that there is only one oxygen atom there will be 38 hydrogen atoms in this molecule which is not possible because i only have three carbon atoms and obviously, three carbon atoms and one oxygen atom cannot support 38 hydrogen atoms because each hydrogen atom has a mass of one atomic mass unit. So I cannot, uh, I cannot say that there are 38 hydrogens. So I'll subtract another oxygen from this. I subtract another oxygen, which gives me 22. 22. Now again, 22 hydrogens, too much for three carbons and one oxygen. So it's not, it's not possible. So I subtract another oxygen. By now, I've already subtracted two oxygens and now I'm subtracting th the third oxygen. So when I subtract this, I get six, which is quite a reasonable number and I cannot subtract any more oxygens. So I can simply say that I have three oxygens because I subtracted oxygen th thrice and I, I was left with 6, I have 3 O's, 3 oxygens, and I have 6 H. Because I am only left with 6, I cannot subtract anything else. Uh, I am only left with 6 hydrogens. So I can write 6 over here, and I can write 3 over here. So this is C, C3, H6, O3. So the molecular formula of compound F is C3, C3 H6, Oh, three. And that's how you tackle this quest these questions. You need some common sense because you know there cannot be 38 or 22 hydrogens in such a small molecule because we have just three carbons. And uh, so we cannot, uh, we cannot have so many hydrogens. So we need to have a reasonable number of hydrogens. And that's it for this question. Let's go to the next one. All right. So uh, we have a mass spectrum over here. As this is what a mass spectrum looks like. This is the relative intensity or relative abundance, whatever you like to call it. This is Me or Mz. Again, whatever you like to call it, it is the same thing as I've explained to you. Uh, the question says that the mass spectrum shown was obtained from a compound of formula Cp, Hq and X, where X represents a halogen atom. So X is a halogen. Cp and Hq, that means I have P carbon atoms and Q hydrogen atoms. So this says deduce the identity of X giving a reason. Okay. So the first part is that I have to deduce X. X can be either chlorine or it can be bromine. So now let's go to our MP directly. So uh, let me take out my pointer. This peak over here on uh, Mz of 122, on Me of 122 will be my M peak because I have one very small peak, one unit after it, which is my M plus one peak. And then I have my M plus two peak. So this is M, M plus one and M plus two. I showed you how the spectrum would look like with an M plus two peak. And I think this is exactly that. So I have my M peak. 
have my m plus 1 peak in the middle, so I'm writing m plus 1 over.